Uncle Joe Spelling Show for <laughs> Sunday, October. October the 4th. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you five and a half. We're here at Parts Unknown again, the Upper West Side of Cleveland. And uh, Cousin Ron just came in from a work detail. Yes. But that's beside the point. Resume is the word for today. Resume. Ooh, that's a good word. Wow. Hey, back up. Wow. Uh, that's, uh, a, that's, that's the that's best word. That's one. It's like resume. Resume. It is resume. It's, it's going along with the same thing as dessert, desert. Resume resume. I had a friend. I had an acquaintance. Uh, worked at the post office years ago, and he said, "Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about getting a new job. Putting in my resume. I, I got to send in my resume." Is that in North Carolina? That was in New York City, my friend. And he was a, a nice enough guy and a the articulate enough guy. <laughs> but it just goes to show you the crazy spelling. And resume. How would you spell resume? Oh, well, how do you spell resume? R e s u m e. How would you spell it? <clears throat> R E Z O O M, resume. 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 What do you think? Absolutely. Yeah? Yeah. All right. How, well, did, how did Big Blue do, do today? 4 0, oh, baby. But, <clears throat> how about, uh, how about the, the teal of Miami? Do, do you know how they did? I, I don't. They play. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I take it back. I don't know. The, the small teal. Versus the big blue. Do the, the big, does the big blue play the small teal this year? They're like guppies, more like dolphins. Ooh. But it's okay. They'll be fine. <clears throat> I have to. I have to get close to cousin Ron because uh, because we are very affectionate on one another, and also because the flip phone doesn't. Uh, uh, Don't uh, criticize the flip. Uh, the, the high def flip. Listen. Hey, speaking of high def, Roman Polanski. You're a lawyer. He got arrested. He didn't get molested. He got arrested, and uh, he did the R word many several years ago. And uh, Whoopi Goldberg says it's not really R R. It's just R. It's not the double R. It's just R. What do you think about that, cousin Ron? Is Whoopi Goldberg just a felonious monk? I'm a fan of Whoopi Goldberg, but I will say that I believe Whoopi Goldberg has that opinion. Because as, because as Roman do, Polanski is a liberal. No, no, not even. Well, possibly, but I think Whoopi and the rest of the people that agree with Whoopi had that opinion because it was not their daughter. It was not your daughter. If it was your daughter, you're going to tell me you have that opinion? I don't think so. I don't think so, Whoopi. I'm just keeping it real. If it was my daughter, I'd, I'd still be trying to kill him. Who? You know who. <laughs> hey, uh, cousin Ron. I'm keeping it real, seriously. How about that David Letterman? Funny. How about that David Letterman? Well, I don't know what happened. You you just filled well, me in on it now. <laughs> Tell me, this is more of know, the R. I have <laughs> no. Well, not the R, but but he's a boss and he's he's having s with his employees, well, employ colleagues. Bosses do that. Okay, moving right along. No, no, no. We got to talk about that's big news. Letterman. And the, and the guy, one of his staff members, was going to blackmail him, was trying to blackmail him. Two million dollars, or I'm going to do a script. See, that guy sh sh that and, guy should be equally punished. Well, no, no. And, and and part of the article in today's whatever, Times, what, was... Trying to extort No, no. In the Times, it said if, if the guy had hired a lawyer and had contacted a letterman in a lawyerly fashion, it would not have been blackmail. It would have been negotiations, etc. Well, it would have been a business negotiation. A business then. negotiation. Yeah, yeah, but you can't threaten somebody. What you can say is something like, oh, you know, I just wrote this wonderful script. It's for sale. <laughs> right? Would you like to buy it? Would you like to buy it? Still a scumbag move. Wink, wink, nod, nod. So Letterman went on the air and said, yeah, I did this. and uh, <laughs> He laughed about it? Uh, well, he... <laughs> really? Uh, speaking of Uncle uh, Junior... Oh, my Uncle Junior and I worked he, all Uncle weekend. Junior is a stand-up guy. He's really? the best. He, he's the hardest working S.O. gun, son of a gun. He's the best. He works twice as hard as you. He does. And now <clears> you're <throat> 60%. Cousin Ron is sick. You saw him here first. I was up to 80. Uh, 80%. Now, now I'm back down to 60. And he's dropping like a fly. And God bless Cousin Ron. But I learned how to hang kitchen cabinets today. 
and install the countertops and everything. At, so at the cost of your life. Well, listen. At least I die with that knowledge. How many people know how to do that? Probably a lot. But it doesn't to, matter. to hang cabinets. Well, you know, if one day I actually own my own apartment, condo, house, something, mm -hmm. imagine I can do that. Anything else from you, Cousin Ron, before we sign off and let you get some rest? I'm calling out sick tomorrow. Macaulay Mission. I can't do it, man. I'm sick. And I sit this close to my boss. And, you know, I'm going to aggravate him if I call for him. <laughs> Uncle Joe Spelling Show, you gave us 22 minutes, we gave you five and a half. From Parts Unknown, good night, everybody. I, I love the Uncle Joe Show. Right. I love my Uncle Joe. See you later. Peace.